What's going on guys? This is Eagles Galaxy here with another video today and I am going to be going over the practice squad today. So how exciting is that? So let's just dive right into it with Kyle Laletta. Kyle of course was a 2018 fourth round pick by the New York Giants. This year in preseason for the Giants, Laletta completed 37 of 62 passes for 453 yards, 4 touchdowns, and no interceptions, with a 103.8 passer rating. Pro Football Focus rated him as the 13th highest quarterback in preseason, which is pretty good. With those stats said, I just wasn't expecting them to make this move regardless. I thought they would be sticking with Thorson for one more year at least on the practice squad because they literally just drafted him, and generally teams stick with their guys they draft for at least three years. Howie Roseman did, however, say yesterday in his press conference that sometimes you got to just move on from your guys, and even if you drafted them. So that's what they did. Thorson is now a Dallas Cowboy on their practice squad. Thorson was regarded as a bad pick even when he was picked, and now it's confirmed. He is a bust. He's not going to help the Eagles anymore unless he becomes the starter over Dak Prescott, and sucks. Not a good look when the team only had 5 picks in the 2019 draft, but let's move on. The next player the Eagles added to the practice squad was Boston Scott, the small running back that was compared to Darren Sproles. I remember earlier this year when I made a post about Boston Scott saying how hyped I was to have him because I think that he will be the next Sproles. But he didn't show much this training camp and in preseason, so he didn't make the roster. At least he gets another year on the practice squad. We will see if he can actually turn it around and be something next year, though. Next up, we have wide receiver Marcus Green from the Falcons. Green was drafted in the sixth round by Atlanta, but injuries kept him off the field. They waived him, and now he's a Philadelphia Eagle. He's only 5'8", 192 pounds, so I guess you could compare him to Darren Sproles too, but he is a wide receiver and a kick returner. Maybe he can develop into something for the Eagles in the future, maybe even at the very least a kick returner, hopefully, because the Eagles could kind of use a kick returner in my opinion. Next up on the list is guard Sua Opeta. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Opeta is a free agent from Weber State and has some value for his ability to play several positions along the interior line. I would say that he's basically just a developmental guy, and that's all there is about him. Hopefully he can develop into something, probably not. We'll find out. Next up we have Alex Ellis, tight end. The Eagles signed him about a month back, I believe now, and he was solid in the preseason great prospect to keep around and maybe he could help the Eagles even this year. Who knows. Next up we have a guy that I think a lot of us were expecting to make the roster. I know I did, but he didn't. None other than Greg Ward. He made a bunch of plays in the preseason as I'm sure a lot of you should know. I'm really glad they were able to bring him back on the practice squad. This has to be what, his third or fourth time on the practice squad? Hopefully he can actually make the roster next year, but... For now, he'll be solid emergency depth if needed. This one has got to be by far the biggest surprise, and the happiest surprise. Linebacker Alex Singleton. For those who don't remember, Singleton is the guy from the CFL that was really good and was a two-time All-Star there. I was really expecting him to be going back to the CFL since he didn't make the Eagles roster, but I guess Howie Roseman was able to convince him to sign to the practice squad. Another guy that's great to have in case of emergency. Maybe he'll make the roster next year, who knows. This next one to me is pretty funny, because the Eagles just traded him like a few weeks ago, and now they have him back. None other than Bruce Hector, the defensive tackle. A few weeks ago they traded him to the Arizona Cardinals for safety Rudy Ford, and now he's back. They have both of those players. One even made the 53 roster, so... Great move by the Eagles there to get him back. Finally on the list we have tight end Josh Perkins, another guy who's been on the practice squad for a few years now, and I was surprised that he didn't make the roster. Maybe he ends up getting elevated to the 53-man roster because as the time of me recording this, they only have two tight ends, and 
If they're going to be running a lot of two tight end sets, you would think they would want three or four. But they only have the two. So we'll see. Otherwise, Josh Perkins will be able to get another chance next year for like his third or fourth time. So there we have it. The nine players on the practice squad so far. The practice squad can have ten people, but they only have nine on it right now. So they'll definitely be making a move very soon, I would imagine. And the other thing you want to remember is that practice squads change a lot over the course of the season. All 32 NFL teams move around their guys on the practice squad. I remember a few years back, I don't remember which players, but there were two players the Eagles were constantly cutting and re-signing like every other week on the practice squad. And due to unforeseen injuries, there's always the guys that get elevated from the 53-man practice squad. Or even claimed by another team to join their 53-man roster because they had an injury or they just need a new guy or whatever the case may be. Anyways guys, that's where I'm going to end off today's video. Thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, this is Eagles Galaxy checking out.